The Tuscarawas community came together tonight for a prayer vigil at the high school. Neil Fisher was there and joins us now with the latest on that. Hi, Neil. Hey, good evening, Russ. It was a very emotional night as hundreds of community members showed up to the vigil. Tusky Valley Superintendent Derek Varansky confirmed to the community that three students died and three, three parents and chaperones died as well. We as a Tusky Valley community had the wind knocked out of us today. Tonight, Tusky Valley Stadium was somber. Six candles burned as hundreds gathered for a prayer vigil after Tuesday morning's tragic bus crash. And it quickly turned into a, the darkest day, and one of the darkest days in our district's history. Tuscarawas Valley Local School District Superintendent Dr. Derek Varansky confirmed three students died in the fiery crash, including two seniors and one sophomore student. Students who were bright lights, full of life, and who lost their lives way too young. They were such great musicians and great young men and women. And we lost, we lost some of those kids. Hundreds of candles lined Main Street in Zor as families made their way to the vigil. Varsity boys golf coach Daryl Markajon fought back tears as he honored those in the crash. Trying to make something straight out of Something that's just a wrong day. I don't know. Trying to make some balance in the world for, on a day that seems totally unbalanced. As families shed tears and express their sadness, students walk together across a somber Tusky Valley field to honor the six lives lost. Meanwhile, Superintendent Varansky says school will be open on Wednesday. We don't want any kids at home by themselves, so our doors will be open. It will not be a typical school day. There will be many counselors and support staff from other community organizations here. Um, but we also respect and honor anybody who would want to leave their kids home and for our staff who don't feel comfortable being here tomorrow. Now we're told that 20 students were transported to local hospitals from the crash scene. 18 of those have since been released from the hospital to remain tonight in serious but not life-threatening injuries. Russ. An unbalanced day. Uh, well put. Neil Fisher, thank you.